Hey everybody, it's Pete. Good morning. Welcome to today's episode of Today's Best Stock Picks. It is Wednesday morning, July 8th, 2020. Uh, we had an old school stock explode yesterday, taking on one of the top stocks on Wall Street, which obviously is a tech stock, uh, but a retail tech stock. So of course, I'm talking about Walmart. Uh, just exploded by talking about um, taking on Amazon uh, and Amazon Prime. Uh, Walmart's going to be calling it Walmart Plus. Uh, so Walmarts are going to be in play today. Costco is a sympathy play uh, in sync with those two trades. Uh, a lot to unpack today. We have a pretty decent list of stocks to um, take a look at. Uh, first, I want to mention, though, um, if you find these videos helpful, uh, absolutely click down and subscribe so you get updates. We have uh, trade, trade alerts, trade picks every day. Uh, as well as education. Uh, and if you want to invest in yourself, uh, definitely learn about the bootcamp because if you join the bootcamp, you get my order flow masterclass for free for 30 days while you're in the bootcamp. It's just an amazing, amazing opportunity to capitalize on all of these uh, incredible, op incredible opportunities in the market right now. So uh, if you want to invest in yourself, if you really want to step up your game, learn how to get the uh, order flow masterclass for free when you sign up for the bootcamp. But today we're going to focus on so more stocks that have just been relentless in their move to the upside, uh, now doing it on double volume. We're actually going to go to another old school stock that I haven't seen in a while, uh, eBay, uh, which really wasn't coming up in my scans for some reason. Uh, it wasn't in my universe, but that's the power of having a community. A lot of people in the community started to call it out. And I'm like, wow, why did, I don't understand how did I miss this one. Uh, so another opportunity. Um, but the big thing I want to talk about is there's a few stocks today that have already uh, moved a pretty decent amount over the last three to five to seven days. So the trade opportunity kind of shifts from swing trade where you have to wait for the next pause into it's still a really good stock to day trade if you happen to be at your screen. So you got to make that distinction between I really love this stock, but it might be a little bit too late for me to get involved today, but it needs to be in your watch list uh, for it to pause for a couple of days uh, and then look for that next move to the upside, which is good, just good trading, really. I mean, if, if we talked about it a little bit in today's video, the disciplined trader, where if you have fear of missing out, you're always going to have bad entries. And we seem to have a, a lot of new people who are excited because we start to walk them off the ledge of feeling like they always have to be involved. And there's nothing wrong with always being involved, but getting involved at the right time makes trading a lot less stressful. So we're going to hit the charts now and uh, show you exactly what I mean uh, in a bunch of these stocks. Uh, so obviously, first, we're talking about Walmart. And just to really kind of drill it home, uh, here's what it looked like in the afternoon uh, when the news was announced. So just pretty incredible um, opportunity. So it's actually opening up flat today, but that doesn't mean you can't make money trading. And we're actually going to be looking for follow through. Clearly, the 132 resistance level is not really as relevant right now when you get news that's actually this big and uh, this um, significant for the long term view of the company. I mean, one of the one of the uh, competitive advantages that Amazon has always had is logistics, but Walmart obviously around much, much longer than Amazon. Uh, if they could finally figure out this piece, uh, it just could be incredible. I mean, you can take a look at Amazon yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, at 3,000. <clears> yeah, over 3,000. So what's the possibility of what could happen in Walmart? You might want to even take a look at this as a investment, not so much as a trade. Uh, and Costco obviously yesterday had some sympathy play, but the, uh, the Costco looks like it's got some 320, 324 resistance. And this is really what I was discussing before as far as um, you don't want to get involved too late. Uh, Costco is actually kind of trading neutral right now, down a little bit with the market. Uh, Pre-market futures are kind of neutral, maybe down just a little bit. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. If you have fear of missing out, you say, I got to get involved, they got to get involved. Uh, but the stock's already moved for seven days in a row, you're going to be buying into resistance. It's going to pull back on you and you're going to get stuck in a trade that's not working out. So learn to time your entries just a little bit better uh, and you'll be in much better shape. As far as earnings are concerned today, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond today, uh, be aware of that. I believe it's after the close. You can just check to confirm that. Uh, so we're going to start getting into some opportunities. The one that has been uh, just really, really good to us the last few months um, and just to really drill this home, I know we haven't really mentioned it too much. It's been kind of the secret stock that we've been trading. Look at the monthly chart of this stock. If you have not been watching this stock, if you have not been involved in this stock, there have been so many opportunities to trade this stock from one day to the next. And if you really look at it, um, the stock exploding, but then going sideways for 10 days, 
move higher going sideways for about seven days and move higher. So you can't say you didn't have a chance to get in. You just didn't have the right focus. And, and honestly, that's a big part of working together is really understanding how to run the right scans for your ideas and then ultimately what is the lowest risk opportunity that has the highest reward potential. And you can see that the stock has just been uh, incredible. Uh, right now, pre-market a few, uh, three hours before the market's opening, it's bid $8 higher. So again, moving to the upside. Another stock that we've been watching, LVGO. I actually just started to pop up in the list uh, over here when it finally got out. Uh, this stock is a little bit more of a swing trading stock than a day trading stock. And what I mean by that is it tends to have more melted candles or tinier candles where it's hard to make money on an intraday basis consistently. Uh, but again, going out to the longer time frames, you can clearly see that the stock is trending and trending well. But if you're day trading, you can see these weeks would have drove you kind of crazy. So I like this stock. I like it as a long. I don't like it after it's just bounced uh, $24. Another good example where even though it's the first time out of this break, I want to see it pause at least for one day just so I could manage my risk to initiate a new swing trade out of the pause. Uh, another one we'll keep an eye on is Workhorse. And again, we start getting into these lower price stocks that have been exploding. Another one that uh, now is actually giving us a very similar opportunity to what we saw. Um, excuse me, my typing is not the best. Um, I know yesterday, uh, again, if, if you've been watching the videos and especially if you're in the boot camp, uh, this one trade yesterday in I know and one trade in uh, DocuSign paid for your entire year of go to flow mastery and being in the boot camp. Uh, we just, the stock was just so easy to trade yesterday and it unfolded exactly as we discussed in the, tr in the trading plan in the morning. Neo is another one. Um, obviously this is starting to get a little bit long in the tooth now where Usually when you get these big spikes in volume like that, you tend to get some profit taking. Absolutely still like the trade long. I don't like it long as a swing trade right now. I want to make that clear. I want to find a better spot to work the entry. Same thing with NVAX where the stock is still in play. Open and close at the same price, which is what I warned everybody about yesterday, that you need to make fast decisions and not just be buying the higher opening. You need to have a plan and it pulled all the way back and actually uh, traded below the open for a while there. And, and, um, Amazing opportunity, just need to be ready to handle it. Square is another one. Uh, it, this one just keeps kind of climbing higher and higher. Um, I actually do like this one long, uh, but again, the stock just went from 104 to 129, $25 move in four days and pulled back a little bit yesterday. So again, this meets the criteria of a day trade versus a swing trade. Uh, if it's a longer term uh, investment, obviously we're trading at or near all time highs. So that changes the scenario a bit. BILI is one that's been popping up in the scan in the list today from a big down day to an inside candlestick to now we're looking for the same thing that we saw uh, in INO yesterday. Uh, OSTK, I've been discussing this one as well. I personally find the stock hard to train. Uh, maybe you have better luck than I do. And again, clearly running the right scans and being involved in the stocks in a better timing. And if you really want to understand what I'm talking about, um, if the stock has a momentum move like this, then you're looking for something like this to better fine tune an entry for the next move. If you get involved in this, I could pretty much guarantee you if you're looking for a swing trade, the stock's gonna pull back and turn into a trade that you're gonna be milking and hoping it comes back. So again, learn to anticipate those entries. Facebook, another one that we've been keeping an eye on, we kept talking about it needs to get over 240 and stay there. Barely got above, uh, well, got above very well, but then pulled all the way back, uh, $8 it pulled back. As a matter of fact, take a look at the chart again. Uh, this is really what it looks like. So uh, 240 got above it very well, and then came all the way back and barely held it. So really the bottom line here in Facebook is as long as it's above 240, I'm looking for an entry to be long and, and possibly hold the stock uh, a little bit longer. eBay is another one that we've been watching for a while. Uh, excuse me, I haven't been watching for a while. Members in the community have. I think that it didn't come up because it didn't have uh, average true range that I look for, for ideas that I'd like to hold a little bit longer term. Uh, but now the stock, you can clearly see it. It's been pushing and pausing, pushing and pausing, which is the, the most simplistic way of finding some good stuff. Now we need to see a pause before we look for the next move higher. So keep that in your watch list. One that's very actionable today is Newmont. Uh, if you watched, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, we actually had a really nice trade here. Uh, it turned into a very profitable day trade that we were looking to hold as a swing trade, looking for 68. Uh, but you can see over the next couple of days, it just kind of chopped around and really didn't produce what we're looking for. 
peek through the uh, breakout level, which was 62. So we're looking to be long this stock for 68 as a new level up there as well. A couple of strong stocks that pulled back. TAL, 100% looking for a lower opening to bid here. And uh, JD, not as strong as, as TAL, but basically the same scenario. Uh, something that's interesting uh, is it's not following through, but JP Morgan just looks like it's ready to fall off a cliff. I don't know with the stimulus package if it will. If this was a normal market where we weren't in such a unique situation where the market was being held up by the Fed right now, the stock would, I'd be shorting the stock and shorting it heavy with that chart pattern. Uh, not, not only is it closing below the open every single day, but there's a vast canyon of uh, the next support level uh, down, uh, down around 80-ish, maybe 82 in that area. But we're not in that situation. And that's a big part of learning how to trade um, is that we are not in a normal market right now. Um, and so I'm not going to be shorting it. I'm going to be letting, leaving it alone, which that's a big part of understanding how to trade too. The short side of the market has been impossible to make money, except for a few stocks. NKLA uh, plummeted yesterday um, and came down pretty hard. Uh, I did not, honestly, I did not short it, despite the fact that it was going down, which actually that was a big conversation that we had in the boot camp yesterday and in the trading room, um, which is about not short selling strong stocks. They have to fight the urge that if you wanna be a buyer in a stock all day, all week and all month, and it's going down for 15 minutes, Trying to short that stock is, quite frankly, a dumb trade. You should just be looking for a spot to get long. And we even saw that in Facebook yesterday. Yes, it pulled back uh, $8, and it's easy to look back and say, I should have shorted it, but it's not a smart play. The one time that it, uh, that it does pull back, the other nine times is the right thing to do to look for a spot to buy it. So which would you rather trade? The nine times that it's the higher likelihood trade or the one time that it does pull back and you get lucky on that one trade? So we want to trade for what happens most of the time, not just for what happens once. Uh, so thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you found these picks um, useful right away. Hopefully the trade management stuff uh, that we talked about really kind of sinks in and you understand you don't want to chase momentum and you want to find a better spot. Uh, if you find these videos helpful, number one, absolutely leave a comment or leave some feedback if you made some money. That would be awesome to hear. Uh, number two, definitely subscribe to the channel. That would mean the world. And you also get updates when we put new stuff out. Uh, and if you really want to take it deeper and you want to get my class for free, Sign up for the boot camp. You have full access to everything, including the Orderflow Masterclass for, uh, for 30 days. So have a great day. Have a profitable day. Be safe, and I'll speak to you soon.